Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about World Movers Distance, shortly WMD. What is WMD? WMD is Noble Distance Function between Text Document, so you can get document similarity with WMD. How WMD can give us document similarity? It is basically using the Euclidean distance of word to vec. So we need to know what is the word vec. Word vec is word embedding and the similarity comes from the word's neighbor words. You also can easily download a pre-trained word vec, something like Google News Vectors. Here I'm going to do some very simple practice how to make the word vec with two documents here. First one is King Brave Man, second one is Queen Beautiful Woman. The neighbor of king is brave and the brave's neighbor is king and man when the window size is 1. And we now have the train data like this and the word is going to be in the input and the neighbors will be the target in this neural network. So you basically have the feed forward like this and by comparing the output with the neighbors here, we do the backpropagation and eventually get the hidden layers value which is exactly the same with the word back. Say we have the word back like this, and we can visualize like this. So here you can see the man, brave king, they are in the similar location, and the woman, beautiful queen, they are in the similar location. You also can do the, some fun calculation here. King minus man plus woman is the queen. Just you can see this mathematics here. Like 1, 1 minus 1, 3 plus 5, 7 is 5.5. .5. So this is so fun. We are going to use this word back. You know, for the WMD from now on. So let's see the word movers distance WMD. We have the three documents here: Prince, uh, Prince Pearly Sky, King Brave Man, and the Queen Beautiful Woman. As you can see here, the the Prince Pearly Sky is similar to the King Brave Man here. You can see the distance here. The smaller distance means a uh, high similarity. This is the basic of the WMD. So let's take a look a little bit deeper on the WMD. WMD is using the normalized bag of words after stop words removal. Here is the example. We have four documents now. First one is the president greets the press in Chicago. Second one is Obama speaks to the media in Illinois. And the third one is the band gave a concert in Japan. And the last one is Obama speaks in Illinois. Uh, this example and the slides actually got, uh, uh, have an idea and the reference was from the, the real research paper as you can see in the bottom of this page. And the first thing what we need to do is to remove the stop words. After removing the stop words, you can see these documents here. And uh, finally, we are going to have the normalized back of word. So it's nothing but you just normalize the number here. So for example, the first document, present Greece press Chicago, you have four words here. And uh, there is just one president. So one over four is 0.25. Greece also 0.25 and so on. And the last one is Obama speaks Illinois. We have total three words here, and there is just one Obama, so one over three is 0.33. That's it. And since we don't need zero values, I just uh, show just uh, which is not zero value here. And the uh, MBO, so normalizing bag of words value, is the amount of the word to be moved to the target document. This is very important. So remember this one. And here, let's take a look. So we can uh, say that word distance here is the WAMBO value times the, the minimum distance of the word by Euclidean distance. What it means here, you have the Obama here. So Obama comes from this blue dot. Blue dot is the, the document one here, and the green dot is the document zero. So we want to compare this document one to document zero, and we are looking for the, the minimum distance from the Obama to any words in the, the document zero here. You can see the Obama to president is the minimum distance, and we just multiply 0.25, which is the AMBO value. This is the distance between the Obama to president. And we will get every distance from the Illinois speaks and uh, media here. That is the total document distance from the WMD. So let's take a look at this example from the research paper. So D0 is the president greets the press in Chicago. D1 is the Obama speaks to the media in Illinois, and D2 is the band gave a concert in Japan. 
So D0 to D1, the distance is 1.07, while the D0 to D2 is 1.63. Since D0 to D1 is small, that means D0 to D1 is more similar than the D0 to D2. But what if the word counts are different, something like D0 to D3? D0 is President Grace Press Chicago, while the D3 is Obama Speaks Illinois. So it's not the, the exact match, right? So Obama should go to the president, but the MBO value is 0 0.25, while the Obama, the MBO value is 0 0.33. So we should move uh, 0 0.08 values to somewhere because we just moved 0 0.25. So the value 0 0.08 is going to other values like this. So the Obama actually going two words. We are moving this Obama words to two words here. Uh, eventually we can get this kind of result. The Obama speaks in Illinois. You can see the Obama is going to president and greet and the speaks is going to the president and the press in Illinois is going to the president and Chicago. So eventually you can see the D0 to D1 is the most similar document, right? Then the D0, D3, then the D0 to D2. The, the band gave a concert in Japan is the, the the maximum the, the the further distance right so that means that d0 to d2 uh, is less similar than the other documents here uh, the WMD performance result is here you can see it's great it's fantastic result on eight different data set you can see the WMD is almost the winner so this was great um, you can and uh, the WMD drawback is uh, slow computation. The complexity, time complexity of the WMD is order p3 log p, while uh, the p is the number of the unique words in the document. So it's very slow actually. So they uh, made some faster logic like relax WMD, which is w p square, and this relax WMD r WMD. Uh, has almost the same uh, performance like just original WMD as you can see here. Well, every information here are based on the research paper as you can see here from word embeddings to document distance. And if we want to implement using the WMD, uh, the GenSim already have some API to use WMD. So enjoy this tutorial and enjoy WMD. I will see you on the next video. Thank you.